okay what's going on you guys so in our last video we saw the installation flow for Shopify apps and that is complete we were able to get the data in the source table and uh, now we can take a look at the roadmap that I have uh, upcoming for you so before I start discussing the roadmap I wanted to put a quick disclaimer that uh, the app is available on github so please check the description box and while you are there uh, consider hitting the subscribe button so it helps me be motivated to put out videos like this okay, thank you so let's discuss the roadmap the first thing I wanted to do is completing the installation flow uh, which means that we only got the installation flow uh, the data re uh, related to it in the database so I wanted to uh, do some extra code and uh, make sure that users have their accounts created in our database so they can access it uh, the next thing I wanted to take a look at which is num priority number two which is the configuration of webhooks so obviously uh, when our app goes one-on-one uh, -on -one with the Shopify store we want to make sure that we will listen to all kinds of events that is happening um, on the store owner maybe uh, they receive a new order or uh, they add a product or they update an existing product or they update an existing order in all of those cases we want to make sure that uh, we are aware of all that so we will configure webhooks for that the third element is the account configuration and permissions man management setup which just means uh, I will use the Spetty Laravel permissions package uh, so that our app is a permission based app so if a user doesn't have a specific permission they won't be able to use a certain element of the app so that is just the setup part and after that I will move to the UI elements which is priority number four in this page I will uh, take a look at the login page dashboard and etc and uh, I will download a template which is available for free of cost on the internet and I will integrate it and yeah uh, this it will be a bootstrap based uh, template so it's easy to understand the next thing I wanted to take a look at was the database design I will share some pointers on the database design where we skip some things over when we are in development but uh, we want to think ahead for the production environment and uh, scenarios where you are working with stores who have uh, more than 10,000 products or they receive 10,000 orders every month those kind of scenarios so we want to take a look at the scalability aspect of the app so I will discuss all of that and uh, yeah I will provide the Laravel migrations so you just need to run PHP artisan migrate and you will get all the table fields in your local database so at six at sixth element I wanted to discuss the REST API structure and the error codes so I will take a look at uh, how Shopify REST API works and the error codes they provide so we want to make sure that our app is uh, capable of handling all those error codes and we can take appropriate action when that happens at number seven um, I will take you guys through the order and the products API's which is uh, REST based so we will discuss some attributes I will share some pointers over there uh, what I have learned uh, while I was working with Shopify myself then at number eight I will share a quick logic about syncing the products and orders from the Shopify store which means uh, when the store owner uh, has installed the app we want to make sure that we are able to pull in all the data from their store related data I mean not all data so we have a local copy of the data in our database so we can work with it however we want then at number nine I will take a quick look at the billing API um, where I will help you guys monetize your app so you can make actual money and at priority number 10 I will take a look at the GraphQL API and I will guide you with some implementation procedures because I see this as quite a problem that uh, developers face uh, nobody has a standardized solution so I will try my best to help you understand how the GraphQL API works and provide you with a script that will help you through it and at the last development roadmap we have the account level management uh, which just means that if you are the store owner who installed the app then you will be assigned the administrator role and you will be able to add sub users account under your account so it just means that okay so with the development roadmap out of the way let's begin <laughs> 